compartmentalize some of this stuff. So the, when we access the gun, when we go to the gun, you can just practice that. Uh, think about as well, just for you appendix guys, the hand position here versus just sloppily getting the shirt. If, if my hand is oriented straight down, it's a weird movement, but this, I get quite a bit more out of just grabbing like this. If you look at what happens when I do this, depending on the size of the gun and the shirt, I'm bunching everything up. See that? It kind of pulls everything in, which can make the gun, get, the shirt get tight around me. If my hand comes down this way, I'm not bunching everything up and I can grab and lift it right up. You can practice these very isolated movements. I can stand with no gun at all and just practice getting my hand yeah, up. On the bottom and just by scrunching, look how much room I got just by scrunching Scrunch. my fingers up. And now just come up. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of pseudo going on around here. The point isn't to go fast, it's that we're gonna be mindful and work this in isolation so that ultimately what we're trying to get to is, is this. So uh, I'm gonna punch the gun out and when I have an acceptable sight picture, I'll press the shot, okay? So here's what we often see, gun comes up, nothing wrong with that, but the sights were there for a long time. Gun comes up, I'm trying to refine, refine, or I can just, I'm bringing the gun back in quickly to just re-illustrate. We don't wanna bring the gun in quickly, usually, right? But how long, don't worry about the paper, how long are my sights lingering on the target? When the shot breaks? How long do I need to refine the sights out there? Very long? It's like I'll push it a little bit now. They don't need to be there really at all, right? Especially at this distance with a target that big, all I see, and I don't want, this isn't go fast. It's let's get over the notion. When, you, when your kid and grandpa gave you a BB gun or mom or dad or whoever and they're teaching you to shoot, like what are like the, the very basic things? Hold it steady, don't move, right? So you sit there with the BB gun or the 22 and you try to hold it as still as possible, right? Well, when we're later trying to do things like this and get hits, and not the miss I just shot, when we're trying to move quickly, I have to be able to not get wrapped around this concept of a perfect sight picture, because what's perfect? What, how long do the sights need to be there? Until they're lined up. I mean, I don't even really need them lined up. Really what has to happen is the sights just need, the bore, the sights or dot are just a representation of a metal tube, right? So all we're trying to do is orient a metal tube at something and when it's there, whether I confirm it or not, like if I pointed my gun at you and shot you in the chest but I didn't see it, it was still pointed at you. I'm not suggesting we don't see it. What happens though is Jared Rustin likes to say, it's waiting on you. He sounds like Z, he's from North Florida. It's waiting on you, it's waiting on you. Point being, that's something that you've connected into your head, I need to feel like it looks good. Why? What do you need it to look good for? The gun comes up, and we can practice it slowly. So we'll compress the gun in to this position three. I'm strong behind the gun, nothing's changing in my body posture. And what we're not doing, what oftentimes people do is they try to bring the gun up in front of their face, and they're shooting here. That's not what's happening. So we're isolating this part of the presentation. The gun's cleared the holster, I've joined my hands. My vision's where I want the round to go. And as my sights come into alignment, I build pressure, pressure, pressure on the trigger. So the other thing, compounding our movements, look, the gun doesn't come up, then my finger go to the trigger. As the gun's punching out, and this isn't, I reiterate, us trying to go quickly, I've decided, conscious action, I'm shooting that target right now. Pressure, 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 pressure. And as I'm saying pressure, I'm saying I'm building pressure, pressure, pressure on the trigger, or I could say something like smooth, 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 smooth. And it's, again, we're not trying to game something. We're just realizing I don't need this long, exaggerated sight picture. It's always gonna be moving. In the interest of making you confident about putting your finger on the trigger as you press it out, for some of you that might not be, not to get into trigger press right now, we'll refine some things as we go. But look how much I can move my trigger without the gun actually clicking, right? Everybody see that? And mostly, I'm not insulting your intelligence. I'm just saying, remember this. So as he goes to the trigger, as he's pressing out, 
he's got a lot of take up, slide. take up right there before the gun actually goes off. So he's got time to refine that sight picture for a good enough, acceptable sight picture to hit a big ass dot at five yards, right? So don't be scared to touch that trigger. And if it does go off, I went boom. All right, I get a miss on the target. Is it acceptably safe for what we're doing? If I press that trigger too fast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Because the gun was generally pointed towards that area, correct? So that might happen, but look at all that take up. Boom, boom, and that's what Mick's showing you. So put it all together for efficiency's reasons, our purposes, connect, grip, trigger, sight, good enough, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah. So don't be scared to touch the trigger is what I'm telling you. We are isolating the draw stroke and we understand, okay, I've joined my hands. I'm now pressing, 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 pressure, 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 shot breaks. Pressing, 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 pressure, 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 shot breaks. So right after they start, he starts forming that grip, it's pretty damn safe to go to that trigger because that gun is well oriented towards where he intends to orient it. And it's not a game. I mean, there's times that you guys may f press the gun out and then put your finger to the trigger. We're just showing you that you don't really have to do some of these things in a long drawn out time frame. If guys are shooting at a second, second and a quarter onto a target, less than a second, they're not pressing the gun out, getting a sight picture, then going to the trigger. We're also not, we're not trying to speed shoot here, but we can shave seconds out of a presentation by understanding that once my sights coalesce with the target, I don't need to reconfirm. It's like a chick that's like, do you love me? <laughs> you tell me you love me. Oh, I love you. Remember, why don't you ever tell me you love me? And you're like, I just did, man. Get the away from me, right? That, we don't need to keep confirming our love for the sights. When they're there, just press the shot. Though it's not absolute, most of y'all, based off of the process that we use to draw the gun, all of you, and we've watched this, all the instructors, tell me if I'm wrong, pretty much everybody out here, from what I've seen, when their hands start to connect, that, that muzzle is oriented pretty well towards that target. Would you agree? Yeah. Instructors? Yeah. yeah. All right, so would you say that once they connect and I'm pressing right here, pretty safe to go to the trigger? All right, not before. And you could do it way after, but that's not very efficient, right? And we're trying to make you efficient. We'll use the word smooth, 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 meaning a smooth, smooth, smooth press onto the trigger. Does that make sense? Yeah, so odds are on the target. Odds you're gonna shoot at target zone four, right? And the objective is when you have an acceptable sight picture, which means your dot is somewhere on the four, or your sights equal height, equal light, they gotta be lined up, right? When it coalesces, press smoothly through. Your grip matters, which means that if, you're, if I press the trigger and the gun is moving inside of my hands, then they might no longer be pointed there. How long does it need to be pointed there? Bar bullets out of the barrel in thousandths of a second, right? Hundreds of the thousands of a second, most likely. So it just needs to be there for a little bit. Let's make sure we're still getting a subsequent or final sight picture following through, not being in a rush. Did I hit? Did it work? Do I need to shoot again? your gun in the condition you want to find it in. Do you want to tack mag it? Go ahead. Holster safely. Manage that trigger finger. Look, I, and this isn't this isn't a chastisement, but where were the sights when that shot went off? The, within reason. You could argue that the sights were slightly above or below, right? Where would they have been? Above or below the bullet strike? Right, the, so the reference point, the dot, because it's actually over the bore, right? There's my sight. For this Glock, it's about three-eighths of an inch from the center of the barrel to the center of the sight. Some of your dots might be upwards of an inch, but let's just say, within reason, the sights were right there, right? Whoever shot this, you chose to misalign the sights and press the shot. So it's just a basic responsibility choice, right? You pay your bills on time or you don't. You drive the speed limit or you don't. 
You put your fingers in certain things you shouldn't or you don't, right? You chose to press the shot here, which is literally you pointing a metal tube at something in time and space and flicking the, the, the trigger, right? Tracking? So just now as we progress, let's own that sight picture, dominate it, and, and force yourself to get an acceptable one. So speed has nothing to do with this. It's a conscious effort, a choice of where's my sights at. And then you put them where you want them. Gunfighter Gun Oil. We don't have some big sales team. Why? Because we don't need it. The world's best lube. Hands down, protects your guns, lubricates the snot out of them, and it's made in America. Yeah.